Hi everyone, here's a, another experiment that I would like to share and this experiment was recommended by a user of the energetic form and his uh, username is uh, Gibbs, G-I-B-S and um, basically he's recommending to do a test here uh, with a microwave oven transformer which I've got here uh, I've got a lot of those, as a matter of fact, and uh, basically I'm just putting the grid uh, power in the primary, like it would normally be set in the microwave oven, and uh, the grid power we have here in Canada and the United States, as a matter of fact, is 120 uh, volts at 60 hertz. So for countries that are using uh, 220, uh, 50 hertz, uh, I would... Uh, recommend to make sure to uh, check how your, your voltage will be much higher on your secondary output. So uh, take note of that and uh, do be careful. Uh, once it's come out of the secondary and charged these two capacitor bank here, which are uh, a total of 1.9 microfarads, um, there's a total of about 1300 volts, 1300 volts. So I've got the uh, unit here uh, with a switch here that I can activate to charge the coils. And I've got my spark plug uh, coming, uh, well, set up here. And what I've got is another tube here, which I, it's a salvage off of a washing machine uh, drain hose, which accidentally fits right into my uh, electrosonic uh, dehumidifier here. And I've got that filled up with water and uh, that hose fits nicely in there and I thought of just making a hole on the side here of this hose and the part spark plug is is inserted inside that hose there um, and I'll start it up and you can see uh, it doesn't last long the effect because <laughs> I've got a fuse holder that I've added there and that fuse holder uh, I put the standard uh, fuse that would be in that microwave oven and it's 15 amps and um, it blew the fuse after some seconds I don't remember exactly how long it lasted but I've got a spare fuse here and I'll put that in and I'll uh, start it up for you and you can see the effect I'll set up the camera on the tripod uh, if you're doing this be very careful this is extreme uh, <laughs> Uh, conditions. I don't think this is something that we want to use as is. Uh, it's obviously pulling over 15 amps. It's uh, a power hog. And uh, But uh, I'll share it with you anyways since I've got it uh, put together here. And uh, I've got a spray bottle. Seems like you might, I might have to spray to start the, uh, contact, uh, the conductivity happening. Uh, but once it started, the um, I'll start the uh, dehumidifier here, or the humidifier here, and there, I don't know if you'll be able to see that stream of uh, of cold fog coming off there. So that cold fog is is what's going to uh, keep uh, <coughs> the spark happening. I'm quite sure you can see it now. So that's kind of rushing out of the tube, and. Um, I've got some headphones here and a goggles and a uh, rubber glove for insulation just in case here. So please do be careful. I'm going to stop the camera here and put it on the tripod and uh, show you uh, what this does. Okay, we're back. I'll start her up. That's it. That's all I got out of that. 15 amp fuse. <laughs> Alright, well that was it. Uh, just that little small burst of uh, was enough to uh, to blow that 15 amp, that second 15 amp fuse there. Uh, I'm not going to spend all day burning fuses. Um, you can always play that in slow motion. Maybe I'll take the time and edit it if I find it interesting and do a slow motion of it. And uh, if you want to see what I've done here, taking it apart, um, there's my tube with a hole in the side here. 
just fixes on the uh, spark plug. So, and that's my modified spark plug. No resistor, no uh, J electrode, just been cut off. And uh, both the uh, electrode and the center electrode and exterior electrode is exactly at the uh, same level. So it's filed down as well to keep them at the same level. And that's it. So I'll uh, post this on YouTube. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks.